Hey guys, Gavin and I call it. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we are back on Forces Heaven, continuing the IndyCar series. So yeah. Um, so currently I have three videos on my phone. One video of Forza 7, one of NASCAR, Heat 5, and the other of Sims Plus Now. But today I want to get some more, I want to record some more. And so today I plan on recording six videos. Um, so by the end of today I want to have at least nine videos on my phone. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. So, but first, before I get into anything, I have an announcement to make about this series. We have a new points system. That is right, a new point system. Nothing big. I will say this is it's nothing big. All I but you know for whenever a driver wins a race, they get five bonus points. Well now there is other ways of drivers to earn bonus points. And I added two ways. I wanted to do this because well, I was watching one of if you no know slap shoes. He's a NASCAR YouTuber. He was um and he did a video about the playoff system, and he um proposed a um an idea at the end of the video for what he thought of, and he brought up the fact that he award bonus points for up uh, for things other than winning the race. And I thought I should I should do that too. So. Now we have two other ways of earning bonus points in the race. And do not worry, um, in preparation for this video, I have gone back and I have looked at all the evidence I have of the past recordings and I have edited the points, given the people bonus points that they need to, and adjusted point. And pretty much we have a complete, we have almost completely different points situation than we did um leaving brands hatch before i added bonus points so the way to earn, spon earn bonus points now is winning the race you get five bonus points second is by having the fastest lap which the game it tells me um after the race is over it pulls up everyone's fastest lap and i just look see who had the fastest lap which fastest lap was the fastest lap? And you can earn five bonus points for having the fastest lap. And the other way to have to earn five bonus points is by being in, being the biggest mover throughout the race. So, who fin who had more positions? Who finished higher? Ugh. Who gained more positions since the start of the race? So let's use two drivers for example. Let's say Alexa Patterson starts fifth and finishes second. I mean, she gained three positions throughout the race, but Langdon Pagani started last and finished um, second. Actually, no, he, let's say he finishes third. So he moved up five positions throughout the race. So since he had the most, since he moved, gained the most positions throughout the race, he would get five bonus points. So that's pretty much it. So the three ways you get bonus points are by winning the race, having the fastest lap, and by being the biggest mover throughout the race. And like I've said, I have added all the bonus. Po I have gone to the past to the first four races that we've done, and I've added bonus points to those drivers. So there is one big thing that. And that interested me um, when I was going through here. So you know how Connor Snelling was the points leader for like the first like three races? Well, scratch that. Because if you take in bonus points for fastest laps and biggest movers, I would have taken the points lead after race two. Because... Out of the four races, I got bonus points in three. The only one I didn't get bonus points was was at Sebring, because Langdon Magani was the biggest mover, and Terrell Saunders had the fastest lap. 
In Dubai, I had the fastest lap and was the biggest mover. Um, in Mugello, Connor Snelling was the biggest mover and I had the fastest lap. I don't know how. I was like, all right, so, all right, this driver has a 40.011 lap time. I looked at my point at my um at my lap time, and apparently I had a 39 flat, not a 39 flat. I had a 39 second lap. Everyone had 40s. I had 39. I had a 39, which is interesting considering how I finished seventh. And then at Brands Hatch, I had I won the race and got the fat and had, was the biggest mover. And Connor Snelling, who finished last, had the fastest lap. So yeah. So first, let me read your point statements. First, with 48 points, is me. And second, with 35 points. Now these points are different from what I said in the Brands Hatch video. So just beware. Second with 35 points is Connor Snelling, and third with 25 points is Barrett Sims, and fourth with 24 points is Chris Nisato, and fifth with 22 points is Terrell Saunders, and sixth with 27 points, we have two drivers with 17 points, um, and they are Lexa Patterson and Langdon Pagani. And eighth with 14 points is Corey Floyd. So yeah. Um, so yeah, point standings have changed up a bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so, today we are at Indianapolis for the Indy 25. And this is a 10 lap race and it'll be run on the Brickyard Speedway during the day. So, this is our first of two ovals on the schedule. And so I've done a couple practice races. By a couple, I mean like five. Um, and for those of you who have been around for a long time, for, since I've about started the Forza 7 series, then you know this. For those of you who don't know, then I will enlighten you. So whenever I play this game, um, I have my difficulty set to unbeatable. But for this race, in my practice races, I learned that I have to, for this race, I'm going to have to decrease my um, difficulty from unbeatable to pro. Because on unbeatable, it just seems everyone's faster than me. I mean, Bow exiting the second turn, I will have, like, I will have lost, like, everyone will be, a, like, a second away from me. In the second turn on the first lap. It is insane. But if I turn it down to pro, it seems that everyone it seems that everyone's on an even playing field and I'm just as fast as everyone else. So this will be this will more likely than not be the only race where we do have pro difficulty. I might have to set it on pro, to pro difficulty at homestead, because that is an oval. I think it might just be a thing with the ovals in these cars, but for the next race we will be back to unbeatable, but just for this race they're going to have to be on pro difficulty rather than unbeatable. So I know this intro is dragging on, we're already almost at 10 minutes, so I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to get into this. But for now on, at the beginning of each race, I'm going to pause the game so I can get down where everyone started. Alright, so I'm gonna get down where everyone's starting positions, and I'll be back in just a second. Alright, so I've written down everyone's starting positions, so we should be, so now I can determine who, um, the biggest mover will be at the end first. Alright. 
Alright. So it looks like we're late into the afternoon here. So you see, these cars get big runs in the draft. If you can draft off someone, you'll get a huge run in these cars. Hey, who's the leader right now? Chris and Asato just went from like third to first within like half a lap. Honestly, as soon as we, as soon as I decided we were going to do these cars, Indianapolis was the first track I put on the schedule. Indianapolis was the first track I said, yeah, that, that's something that's on the schedule. And who's that behind me? Um, I think that's the number. I don't know, but someone just made contact with me and put me in the hole. Luckily, my car seems to be okay, as we easily had a race-winning car. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything at this point. I mean, who knows? We still have, like, seven laps left. Alright, we have a driver pitting. Most likely for damage. Let's see if we can get this number 11 Honda back towards the front. Uh, at one point, I think it was um, I think this, I'm talking about after I added um, bonus points for fastest lap and biggest movers. Um, I think it was. After Mugello, yeah, after Mugello, I believe. Yeah, I think it was after Mugello, um, Connor Snelling took my five point lead to a one point lead. But now it's to like a 13 point lead. Something like that. Because now, with fastest lap and biggest movers, um, the race winner, if the race winner has the fastest lap and is the biggest mover, the race winner can now earn 23 points now. So if you're the biggest mover and the race winner, you, if you're the biggest mover, have the fastest lap and the race winner, you get 23 points. Which is insane. But that's not the easiest thing to do. It's only been done once. And I was the one who did it. In Dubai, I believe. Yeah, it was Dubai. I have managed to catch up to them. I think that's because I have an on pro difficulty. Then again, if it was on unbeatable, I would. I'd be in last right now. Alright, let's go around. Um, whoever that is, um, I still don't know these damn cars. I think that was a number. That was um, Terrell Saunders. Get by Lexa here. Alright. Dang, this race is flown by. I think these all races might be need to be a little longer. Alright. Alright, if I could stop smacking the wall, that'd be nice. Alright, three laps to go here at Indianapolis in the Indy 25. Alright. 
I want to win at least one of these ovals. If I could at least win one of the one of the two ovals on this schedule, that'd be awesome. I don't know what our next um, series is gonna be. I guess starting this video, y'all tell me what y'all what the next um, IndyCar or what the next um, Forza Seven series you want to see. Um, I if I remember, um, I will put the um, divisions that I've picked out as usable for for the for a for the seven series i will put them in the description below so look at the description and tell me which one you you want to see become a series as i'm starting to think brendan on pro made it a bit too easy as now i just go around but on unbeatable i would have not done anything dude Okay, if this is, ugh. I mean, I've, I passed and I'm now over to a one second lead. All right, to even things out, I'm gonna let off in the turns. All right, there we go. Yeah, just letting off in the turns, I lost, I lost four tenths. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's already the last lap, how? All right, here we go. All right. And it looks like I will win at Indianapolis. I think I shouldn't have touched the um, difficulty. <laughs> so, sorry guys um, about that. Yeah, I think I probably shouldn't have touched the di difficulty. But I guess it was interesting having to see me come from the back the front all right so i'm going to write down the finishing results um point standings and bonus points so i'll see you guys in just a moment all right so i'm back i've written down the finishing results point standings and bonus points so your finishing results the first getting second win in a row is me second chris and Soto. third lex patterson Um, fourth is Terrell Saunders, fifth is Corey Floyd, sixth is Barrett Sims, seventh Connor Snelling, and eighth is Lincoln Pagani. So, <laughs> for the first race to be on a video with this new um, point system ish, with this new ish point system. We have four drivers, we have five drivers that get bonus points. Yeah, um, interesting. So I get bonus points for winning the race. Connor Snelling gets bonus points for having the fastest lap, even though he finished seventh. He had a 38 second lap. And all everyone else had either a 39th or a 4th. He almost, actually, he almost had a 37 second lap, but he had 38, which gives him fastest lap. Then we had three drivers who all had the same amount of positions gained through the race. So, biggest movers, all three gaining two positions, no one gaining higher, were um, Corey Floyd. Barrett Sims and Carissa Masato. Those three drivers get five bonus points each for um, gaining, um, for being the biggest movers. So, points going from eight to first. And eight with 18 points is Landon Magani. Seven with 23 points is Corey Floyd. Six with. Oh, never mind. We have two drivers with. Um, 23 points. Um, and sixth with 23 points we have Corey Floyd and Lexa Patterson. Fifth with 27 points is Terrell Saunders. Fourth with 33 points is Barrett Sims. Third with 36 points is Carissa Nisato. Second with 42 points 
is Connor Snelling, and in first with 61 points is me. Yeah, these bonus points are very interesting. They definitely change things up a bit. But, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.